a secret video on how to reinforce body shells. As there seems to be a lot of questions on this lately. And I've seen quite a few people get sold the wrong things at the local model shops and get given bad advice. So what I use is drywall tape for joins on plasterboard. It's fairly cheap. This is a large roll that I've been using for about a year now. It cost me five pounds and shoe goo. Now this is designed to re repair the soles of shoes, tennis players and things like that. Again, readily available off eBay. Um, you used to get 110 mil bottles, uh, 110 mil tubes, they don't seem to exist anymore. So 255 mil tubes will cost you about 4.99, including postage. To give a rough idea, this is a Traxxas Slash 4x4 body. Uh, you can do that in approximately one tube, I use about a tube and a half because I pack your areas in to reinforce. So the method I use, you take a piece of tape, cut it into whatever section you want, lay that down on the body, then wearing gloves, you use the goo and push that into place. Use gloves because you get it on your fingers, uh, it, when it dries it's rubbery and it's a bit of a pain to peel off. Now, <clears throat> I've used a number of different methods over the years and hands down this works and this is the best method it allows the body to still flex when it needs to it prevents it from splitting and if it does split then this method holds it together and i'll show you that on my x-max body so the cost of doing it is about so a body like this even if you use two tubes it's going to cost five pounds this will do about 30 bodies so 50p you know there's not a lot of cost at all and it saves you you know the destroy a body i'll put a clip um, in this video showing you when i hit a fence with this at full speed went into a metal fence um, bent the body in half you can see a crease mark here um, just about from where it bent no splits held together perfectly fine If I move on to my Xmax body, now this is one of the main things I get questions about from people is about the Xmax body. The Xmax body, due to the weight and size of the Xmax and this frame setup, the shell is, is easily damaged. Now this one here is now approximately 10 to 11 months old and it's had an extremely hard time. I've had full impact head-on collisions. Uh, it's been into trees, all sorts of things. It's had heavy crashes. If you can see here, I had a full on front impact in midair with another x -Max. Oh no! And it's put a slight crack in my body here, creased this up, and just about started to split here. But it's completely held together because I've used Chugu and drywall tape. Now you can see in here there's some black, because Shugu also comes in black. Um, they're not always good adverts, they don't always say whether or not they're clear or black. It doesn't matter, I do find that the clear is a little bit easier to use and a bit more malleable. So just to show you how good this stuff is, this body is split right through. So it's split from end to end down here, down here, down here and down here. Alright, now normally this would just be in pieces. But because I've reinforced it with the shoe goo and the drywall tape, if you look from the underneath, that has held that all together. So yes, there's a bit of flex, but it's still in one piece. And I still run this body. As you can see, anyone who saw my water crossing video, um, I still got the wobble in it from uh, using it on water. Superb. Now, I do the whole body, and it's obviously your choice whether you do the whole body or just the weak points, but as you can see, I've got damage throughout the body um, that has purely been saved by shugu and drywall tape. So, any questions, just ping me a message, but hopefully that helps.